what I'm going to do today is demonstrate how well, one method of doing an artillery strike in the GEC, um, similar to the one done at Nellis in base game, but not quite the same. So I had a request of it a while ago, which kind of been one of those things where I thought, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, and then I've just been putting it off for ages, but so now I'm actually going to do it. And I also thought this was a great opportunity to once again um, show off what I've been doing in, in the Project Brazil mod, and with some shameless self-promotion. So um, there is one scene that I did where an artillery barrage is randomly sort of generated. So the first thing I did to create that artillery barrage is I added nine X markers into the world, and these X markers are going to be where you want your uh, artillery shells to land. You can have as many as you want, but I chose nine for a reason that will be apparent later on. I couldn't remember where I put them all, but this is one of them. Um, I've given it the reference ID CH3 Artillery Marker 1. Um, and you'll want to number these. You'll call it whatever you want as long as it's unique. And I've numbered them 1 to 9. So somewhere out there is CH3 Artillery Markers 2, 3, 4, 5. And so on, so on like that. And also important is to make sure that you place them a little bit above the ground. Like you see mine are hovering just here. Because if you put them on the ground the artillery strike will just do no damage. Um don't know why, that's just what happens. So now I've created a whole quest for my um, artillery battle. And so you're going to want to think of some way to start this. I mean, you can do the whole thing inside a trigger using a begin on trigger command, but I didn't want to do that because I would have to... There's a lot going on at once in this battle, basically. So I've created a whole quest that will be started at a certain point. So as long as stage one of this quest is, re is reached, it will begin to run its quest script, which looks like this. So it's very simple, and it's very similar to other timer-related and random-related quests that I've done in the past. So all I've done is I've got two variables. I've got fire timer and fire location. So what I've said here is I've put in the comments, I'll have a shell fired every five seconds. As, as normal, this number is open to change, but nobody's changed it, so every five seconds. And then I've got a random number generator. We'll decide which of the nine markers to shoot at. Alt alternatively, it will get give a player a five second respite if the value reaches uh, 90 or above. So the way I've done it is like this. I've done if fire timer is below five, set fire timer to fire timer plus one. And now this script is running every one second, so I've done that one. I could have just had it run every five seconds and done to fire timer plus get seconds passed, but I've not done that. It doesn't really make an enormous difference. But then if fire timer should be greater than or equal to five, we're setting fire location to get random percent. And if you don't know already, get random percent will choose a random number between 1 and 100. And so basically, this is a very simple thing. If fire location doesn't equal 0 and it's below 10, so if it's 1 to 9, this is the important part now. CH3 artillery marker 1, which is this right here, dot place at me, P Brazil CH2 FX Nellis artillery striker 1. Now, the reason it's got that stuck in front of it is because what you can do is instead of creating your whole new one go to the activators section and you'll see here FX Nellis Artillery Strike 01 and now somebody before me had already created this one so I just recycled it but you could just pl pl dot place at me FX Nellis Artillery Strike 01 and then the, the script that is already in the base game will do the rest so it will fire this artillery explosion and then it will delete itself so it doesn't clutter up the save so it's really this the what what um uh, Obsidian have already put in the game is basically perfect for this kind of thing. So as long as you place at me at your artillery marker dot place at me, you know one of those nice artillery strikes is fine. Then fire timer and fire location are both reset to zero. So this fire timer will run again. This goes back to zero, so it's below five, so it begins to run again. So in the next five seconds, it will generate any number between one and one hundred. And you can see here I've got various for all the locations. If it's between, if it's less than ten. Uh, so if it's bigger than 10 and below 20, so if it's uh, 11 to um, sort of 20, 11 to uh, 19, and then if it's 21 to 30, I just realized perhaps I should do or equal to 20. Oh no, because the equal to 20 is already done here. So yeah, if it's um, from uh, 11 to 20, from 21 to uh, from 20 to uh, 29, I'll do here. Or alternatively, if it's between uh, 90 and 100, no artillery strike is struck, and the fire time and location are set anyway, so the player gets a nice little break. 
So essentially that is how that's done really. It's actually quite simple to do an artillery strike as long as you have some kind of, some kind of trigger. Like you could, instead of what I've done here, which is a quest, the way the base game does it is it has a very large trigger stretched over the area that the shells are going to fire in. And it has a begin on trigger player. So instead of begin game mode, it would say begin on trigger space player. Then just be exactly the same thing. Basically, I mean, the Nellis one is a little more complicated because it has lots of... Um, it, it, the, the, the artillery strikes are different in accuracy based on where the player is because the player is the target rather than uh, predefined markers. But I find the predefined marker it should probably be fine for what anybody wants. Um, I think you could probably just do a player dot place at me one of these, maybe. Um, but it's very, very complicated than Nellis one, but this is a nice, simple, simple, dynamic attack. So hopefully that was useful, hopefully that was interesting, and it um, was relevant to the guy who requested it uh, ages ago. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, hope that was useful, and uh, goodbye.